Hello and welcome to part two in our demonstration of the Excelos WMS integration with NetSuite. Uh, in this demonstration we're going to be looking at the sales order process and uh, picking and dispatching uh, a NetSuite sales order. So we first of all go to our NetSuite uh, sales order screen um, to add a new sales order. Uh, we choose a, a, a customer here. Um, we'll choose Aki's in this example and uh, add a couple of products to the so we'll go for the products we received in the previous demonstration so that was the um, 1709 um, we'll just pick uh, for the moment uh, well let, let us put in a quantity of five and add another row here and this time we'll go for the HP and that was the 230 there we go and uh, we'll put a quantity of three in there okay so we need to make sure we choose our fulfillment warehouse because that's the warehouse we're going to pick from and uh, we're going to flag this record to download into um, Axelos okay so all of those uh, settings the reason we have this flag here is to ensure that uh, we are happy to release it to the warehouse for picking so um, we've ticked that and we save it so that sales order much like the purchase order is now uh, sent to the warehouse management system uh, for processing so in the warehouse system we have um, a different grid this time uh, the sales order grid um, the sales order grid much like the um, purchase order grid can be filtered and you can see we have a various selection of, of filters here and just uh, while we wait for the interface to pick up that order here we go you can see here um, that we're currently looking at the filter by date ordered um, we could also uh, in this example look at it by uh, the shipping code uh, so this would be the carrier that we want to distribute um, the product on now we only have one order in this example so um, you can see the order here has got two lines on uh, eight units and uh, an estimated weight of, of 210 we can also put in the system uh, labor standards so we can estimate how long it would take to pick this order for example now if we've got multiple orders on the system Axelos will let us group them together uh, to create waves or wave picking requests whereby a single user on a handheld scanner can go and pick uh, a group of uh, one or more orders in this instance we're just going to take order 220 um, and first of all allocate it to stock in the in the warehouse so we just uh, allocate that there and um, the order you see now has allocated to the bin locations A98A and A98D which were the two locations that we put the stock into in our receiving demonstration now once I'm happy with the allocation I will wave out the order and what this has the effect of doing is printing a pick ticket it may even print a customer label uh, both of these are optional in fact we don't need the pick ticket and I'll demonstrate why not so we send out the order and what this will do is generate a unique uh, carton label um, so that you know um, what uh, carton this stock has been put into after it's been picked from these two bin locations so in this instance the carton label is uh, 34 is a whole series of numbers but remember the 34 at the end and uh, we give that label to a picker um, to go and pick so on their handheld scanner now we log back in and we log back in as a picking operator again we have multiple options from the menu here um, to do various different types of picking um, batch picking i.e. picking more than one order at a, at a time product picking where we override the pick path that the system has defined for us uh, scanner picking where we scan every single um, individual unit rather than entering quantity so various different styles we're just going to stick with our regular picking style and uh, we're going to include all zones um, and we're going to start at the beginning um, by scanning the label 
uh, that I mentioned earlier. So we pick up that uh, carton label and it's got uh, 6034. Normally you just scan this and you see here that it's picked up that it's one order, two lines and eight units. If I'm going to pick another order, I would have another label and I would scan that. Once I'm happy uh, that I have my wave or job to pick, it will now send me on one path uh, through the warehouse in bin sequence. So I don't need the pick ticket for the very reason that on the scanner it shows me to pick five packs of one from bin A98A. Um, it asks me to scan the barcode. So if I were to scan a different product, for example, the handheld will beep saying that it can't find the product that it's looking for. So you won't, as a picker, be able to move forward to the next step until you select the actual product it's looking for. It now asks me to pack five um, units into this particular carton, which is the one tied to the order here, so number 34. Um, so we, again, if we scanned um, 32, for example, it will not let me move on. So if you're picking multiple orders into multiple cartons on a trolley at the same time, you'll be forced to scan uh, into the right, correct, correct customer carton. So I will enter 34. And finally, I confirm the quantity, in which in this case is five. Now that takes me to the next bin location, so 98D, uh, different product. So I'm now asked to pick 2302132 here. And again, confirm the carton. If I want to, I can generate another uh, carton label. So if I fill a box, I can print a label. Um, but in this instance, we'll put it all in to the one box. And again, we confirm the quantity. And that's the end of the job. If I go back here, you'll see that the status um, of this order is now in rating. You'll see uh, that this carton uh, now has product in it. I can drill into that and see uh, the products. The two uh, products that we picked are now embedded in, in that carton. So it keeps a full carton contents as you go around picking the order. OK, if I go back to the handout and say, no, that's the end of my job. I can either move to a receiving job or carry on picking a new order. Back on the um, on the administrator screen, here I can see that the order is in rating, which basically means that it's ready to ship. Now, the reason we haven't got it automatic uh, shipping, which you can do, is that uh, in some cases you may want to scan each individual carton onto the uh, onto the truck or you may want to release all the orders when the carrier comes to pick up you know a, a group of uh, of uh, packages so by using the order management screen we can see here we've got one order in rating maybe we had 10 orders all going out with the same carrier we'd simply select the 10 right click and then mark them to ship okay Okay, so um, we've now shipped that order, and if we go back to our sales order in NetSuite and just refresh the order, um, we can then, and uh, the refreshed order then is showing uh, the fulfillment uh, for the two lines. And basically that's the integration on the sales side. Um, so uh, please take a look at the other video on receiving, um, but hopefully that gives you a view of the integration between the Excelos WMS and the NetSuite uh, business system. Many thanks.